Hi there, are you a data analyst or a BI developer? Do you know that you can create quick Power BI reports from Jupyter Notebook using Python? Or per se, you can use any notebooks or even Databricks as well. So I had a requirement some time ago to create a Power BI report in a Jupyter Notebook. So uh, I stumbled upon this particular blog from Microsoft by Noam Rave and here she explains the complete process of how to do that. And so there is a GitHub repo over here uh, where we have the sample data set and the complete script on explaining how to perform this in, uh, in Jupyter Notebook. So what they have over here is a CSV file and a bit of pre-processing of it and visualizing it in Power BI within Jupyter Notebook itself. And the best part is that you can even save this report into your Power BI workspace. So from there, you can do more analysis as well. So let me show you step by step how to do that with an Excel data what I have in my desktop. Let's start. Hi, my name is Vinayak Panchaman and welcome to Data Delimited. If you're new to the channel, please do subscribe. I'll be posting two videos every week on Power BI and data analysis. So I have this data over here. It's basically the flight names and what time they uh, depart and arrive at the uh, destination, etc. And the duration, all this kind of a simple database. And uh, the sheet name is called flight and the data set name is called flight data set. Okay, this is the Excel uh, data what we have. Let us let me show you step by step. Now let's import this data to Jupyter Notebook and try to create a report in Power BI and then save it in our workspace. I use Anaconda Navigator over here. From there, I uh, fire up my Jupyter Notebook. So you just have to uh, install a Jupyter Notebook or uh, Anaconda Navigator and then you can fire up your Jupyter Notebook as well. So what I'll do over here is I'll open a new kernel. I'll name it as python underscore power bi rename. The step one is to call the libraries or install the libraries what we need. So we have a power bi client library which integrates power bi with python and we have quick visualize and data set config which are functions which will quickly create visualizations from the data sets what we have and report is used to handle the reports generated in Power BI and device code authentication. It's a class for authenticating uh, Power BI by a code authentication method. And pandas is of course a powerful data manipulation or transformation library in Python, which will handle the data in a data frame format. The next step is to install the Power BI client. So I'll copy this and put it over, run this one. So this is, uh, command which installs Power BI client. And the next one is we have to authenticate this. Let's, to authenticate it, we have the device code login authentication, which will prompt the user to authenticate by logging into Microsoft account. So you see the link over here. I'll click open this link and copy this code, what is over here, and paste it over here and click next. So this will uh, start authenticating or integrating the Power BI and Python. So now it's asking us to log in. So continue. So it's integrated now. So let's go back. And the next thing what we have to do is we have to pull the data set what we have. So I have my Excel sheet and the path and the sheet name. So I'll give it over here. I'll read the Excel path and the sheet name over here and run this code. So this will give the data what shows the data what we have it in the excel sheet so the next step is to generate a configuration from data frame that is compatible with power bi visualizations so to do that we have a piece of code so just give this one and the next important step is to handle the events we have three events over here the first event is called when the visualization is finished loading the second event is called when the visualization has been rendered on the screen. The third one, when it is saved successfully. So to do that, let's put the event one by one. So this is the first event. This will be our second event, which will render the visualization. This is the third event, which will save the visualization. And the next is, 
we'll run this and we'll ask power bi to visualize it if you get this just close it so it's generating the visuals right now and click on view the visuals voila here it is so you have the power bi visual in jupyter notebook and you can even play around with it over here and make any changes you can select the fields if you need etc but the best part over here is you can save this report to your workspace so let me click on save and enter the file name let's try it uh, python underscore power bi So the report is saved now. Let me open my Power BI. It's saved in my workspace, I believe. So let's go to the my workspace. And if you see over here, we have Python Power BI. Just click on this one. You can have your Power BI report over here. You can do editing over here. You can even download this report, but uh, take care that when you download it, you will not have the visuals over here. It will be just the data model. Uh, and uh, the good good thing about this is you can even do, uh, after this step, right, you can even do pre-processing, which means you can do a lot of uh, data transformation in Python itself and uh, render the report. So how fantastic it is. So try it out with your own uh, data set. It could be a CSV or Excel uh, data set. And uh, I'll put this code snippet. You just have to go ahead and change the uh, sheet name and the path over here and try to run that report and render it in Power BI. If you know Python, or you can use even use ChatGPT to do some pre-processing and uh, transformation in the data and then load it to Power BI. So hope you enjoyed it. See you in the next one.